In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to import the MySQL time zone description tables into MySQL on Microsoft Windows. Um, the first thing you have to do is to um, check out your um, MySQL or MariaDB version. And I am running MariaDB version 10.4. And I found out that um, the uh, Description tables for MySQL version uh, 5.7 plus worked for me just fine. So I downloaded the time zone uh, for the POSIX standard. And after download, you have to unpack the, um, the uh, zip archive. And I just simply did this in my download folder. And then you navigate to the SQL file. The next step is um, for you to find the path of your My MySQL um, um, binary folder. And in the MySQL binary folder, um, you want to enter the, uh, we want to enter shell. Um, another way would be to uh, um, add the binary folder to the path, but um, I did not choose to do so. Uh, next, um, you have to import the SQL file um, to the MySQL process, and this is done with this pro um, with this statement. Uh, you just um, enter your path to the SQL file here and execute this uh, this command. The uh, program will um, exit without any error messages or um, any messages at all. After you have imported the uh, SQL file, you can restart your uh, MySQL server. And after restarting the MySQL server, you should be able to uh, locate your time zone description tables um, under the MySQL database. For instance, uh, we can check for the MySQL time zone description table um, by simply running a simple um, select statement. And I forgot to add the MySQL table here. And as you can see, it returns, um, successfully returns the time zone I need in my case. Now we need to do the final and actually most important step of this tutorial, namely to set the, um, the time zone for the MySQL database. And this can be done by setting the global time zone, in my case to Europe Vienna. Um, you can select your um, time zone from the time zone name table, um, just search for it in there. And when executing this, um, the operation should succeed. And yeah, that's it. I hope you also succeeded with importing the MySQL description tables. Um, if you did not do so, please feel free to ask any questions in the comments.